overlay scatter plot is another type of a scatter plot that can be used in SPSS and can be drawn for data that's, uh, or variables, several different variables. So the uh, diagram or the chart, the overlay scatter plot, will display the relationship between multiple variables by holding one variable constant and drawing it on one of the on, on one of the axis x axis and plotting this variable against several variables on y axis so the diagram will permit looking at data from several variables simultaneously in one graph by holding one variable constant in one of the axes and plotting it against two or three or four variables. The way to do that in SPSS, here I have data for, well, for seven variables and I want to do, to draw a diagram to show the relationship between data number one and data number three and data number four in one diagram and the best way forward for this is to do a overlay scatter plot the way to do that is to click on graphs legacy dialogues scroll down to scatter slash dot and from this window select the overlay scatter then click on define and you window will appear and here we need to sort out our variables and I need to fix one variable in one axis and I will move the data number one into x axis and fix it on x axis and compare it to variable three and four so if I click on data one and then drag it and move it to x variables then click on data three and move it to y variable again take the data one and place it in x variable so we 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 hold this variable fixed on x axis and then i'm going to select data four and move it to y axis so here data one is in one axis and plotted against data three and four what i can also do here i could add the titles and a footnote but i will do it in a different way i'll show you shortly if i click on ok an spss will generate an output of the overlay scatter as I have two two variables plotted against data one as we can see here data three in blue against data one and data four in green against data one so in uh, in the first top set of com relationship as we can see here it is a decreasing relationship an inverse relationship and in the blue circles there is a positive relationship an increasing relationship between data one and data three and i'm going to do some more editing on this graph if i double click on it and uh, double click on the graph to remove the background click on the white so to make it white here and I could change the size of the graph but I will stick with the same size click close and I could also add a trend line if I click select the file as it is click on element fit a, tot, uh, a trend line again a trend line has been fitted and it is linear and I could will keep the same line color rather than changing it maybe increasing it a little bit 
make it more thicker and then I'm not going to make any changes here click close other other modification I really could do if I click click on the y-axis I could reduce decimal number to zero so to make it look neater really and I could also click on the x-axis and make the decimal to zero as it look here much neater and I could also get rid of this box data R2 and R, um, R2 for linear by click on it and then hit the delete button if I also select the graph and right click on it I have other options I can do I can do a title to the graph by calling it correlation and I could also it's a small letter and I could also again select and add a food note by typing here figure three figure again it's a small letter figure one if I select the graph again other options I can do is to hide the legend I could hide the legend or I could really show them again uh, and also there is a function here of which you can transpose the chart I don't know whether it's helpful but here if I re revert it back again um, to its original state so this is some of the editing that can be done to the overlay scatter plot if I want to export this diagram into other Pro, uh, softwares like Word documents, PowerPoint, Excel, or even save it in PDF file. The way to do that is to close this one, then select this diag this diagram, right right click, left click, and then right click, and then click on export. And I'm going to save this file as a PDF. Or this diagram again as I can see you can see here show they have different options you can save it as PowerPoint save it as document save it as uh, Excel file so we stick with PDF and I'm going to place that on uh, on a folder here in correlation and I'm going to call it over day and then click Save again I'm going to take this here to make to open the over the folder containing it so if i click on ok it will be exported to the folder and spontaneously the folder will be open and it's over uh, overlay document and if i click on it the diagram is in the in, is saved in pdf format another option is i could do is if i click right click on the diagram and then sorry left click and then right click a, 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 wind, a small window will appear select the copy special and make sure you select the image here in copy special and then click on ok the image is saved on clip on the computer clipboard so if I want to paste it here click on this image again the diagram is now in it transferred or imported into PowerPoint slide. So this is the way to do this is the way to do an overlay scatter plot in SPSS. If you have multiple variables and you want to look at the relationship between the, the, these variables by holding one variable constant on one of the graph axis and plotting it against several variables.